What we're going to be working on is starting to teach them how to soften. And when we teach our horses to soften, the way to start is with getting them to move laterally for us. So I'm going to go ahead and show them how to flex. When we flex, I always start with getting the least amount of, of give. So I'm going to ask very lightly. I'm just going to see if I can tip that nose towards me. And he's actually a really dull horse. He's not really giving here. But I'm going to gently kind of massage that line until he tips in towards me. And I want him to really kind of give on his own. I don't want to just pull him in here. But I'm going to maintain this pressure. There. He gave in. I released. I'm going to give him a rub. Let him know that he made a good choice there. So I'm going to go ahead and ask him again. I'm going to tilt in here. Gently until he gives. Again, he's coming with that there. But I want him to give that rest of the way himself. I don't want to pull him. I want him to decide to come into me. Okay, so when you're asking your horse to flex, it's important that we give them room so that they have some place to go. A lot of times we make the mistake of standing right in the area that we're asking them to flex in. And mentally, it's difficult for that horse to make that turn knowing that you're standing in their space. So I'm going to slide way back here, and then I'm going to ask him to give and come around. I'll slide that hand down. Oh, look at that. That nose started to come around, so I release that pressure immediately. You know, a lot of times our tendency is if we see our horse starting to do the, the right thing, we get excited, and we want to ask for more and really get him to come around. But we're much better off just kind of relaxing, taking a deep breath, taking it in little steps and letting him know that he made a, a good choice there. So I'm going to go ahead and ask him again here. Again, I'm going to step back. I'm going to give him plenty of room to come around here. I'm going to slide that hand down. Oh, very nice. Oh, good. <sighs> good boy. And he's actually giving a lot better than I anticipated that he would. He tends to be a little bit dull. Um, but he's giving, he's giving pretty well, so I'm pleased with that. But part of that is little tiny steps to help build up his confidence so that he can really come around nice and quiet when I ask. So this time I might ask for a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and step back, get out of the way so he's got room to come. I'm going to slide that hand down. I'm going to hold till he gives. Oh, that's good. Good boy. Our release is super important when we release the pressure. So when I ask, when he's coming, I want to release really quickly to let him know that he's making a good decision. I'm going to try one last time here, see if we can get him to come all the way around here. I'm going to hold it. Oh, good pony. Good boy. And I'm going to quit right there with him. I don't want to ask too much and get him sour on it. Um, he did good. He was nice and soft. He was falling into my hand. That's where or I'd like to end up with him.